when okay. I heard you go. I'll, I'll clarify what he's trying to say for a bit. Yeah. The Holy Spirit. Yeah, I know too. Okay. But I just, <laughs> I just said. It's I'll ask you. Are, are you trying to say they don't understand me? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I think, I'm not saying. That. <laughs> I know, no, I you know understand what he's trying to say. Okay. And I just don't disagree with him, but because of it's not a problem for me, yes. so I just don't see the point. And no, yeah. no, no. I'm not saying you personally. I'm, I'm saying. If yes. this is something that Jesus advocated to believe in a triune God, and if that is something very important for you, for your belief, then surely it would be inappropriate of Jesus not to mention it. Do you think it is necessary for you to be a Christian? In Sorry, do you think it's necessary for you to believe in the Trinity in order for you to be a Christian? Or is that not really a requirement? Okay, that's a good question. Yeah. I hope I get a good answer. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question, but I think it's... In other words, can I be a Christian without believing in the Trinity? A true Christian? Yeah, that's, that's the point what I wanted to say for, uh, for some minutes before. Jesus then came to form a Christian, a Christian, what we do to become a good Christian. I don't know, that's what people it's, made us It's do. like, for example, but as a Muslim, I if I said, for me, the central belief in Islam is to believe in Allah as yeah. a God, and to believe in his messenger, yes? And I say that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who came to actually teach us yeah. how to worship God, how to pray to him, he did not teach us this. If something is a central doctrine of my faith and the, the, the main person who's supposed to tell me this did not inform me that that is a central doctrine, then is it even a central doctrine, I will ask you. You see what I mean? So if Trinity was so important, why did it take yeah, the church 400 years? What, what, why do you think Jesus came yourself? What do you think the core message of him coming? If you don't think he came to form Christianity, correct? Why do you think, why, what do you believe about Jesus? What do you think his, his goal of coming? What do you think he was trying to do? He was trying to rescue mankind. From yeah, but how? Okay. how? Given, given us salvation? By, by being that sacrifice, that, that yeah. perfect example um, of how a human life should be, and by being the only one who could fulfill that, he was the only one um, honorable in, enough to be that sacrifice to God, to you know, uh, forgive mankind's sin. Yeah. To, to, but if if to that is the central, do you think that's the central sin. message of Jesus? That and the words he said before. So why did Jesus not mention that this is the main message when people asked him, "How can I be this saved?" Is not the main message. Well, that's the question you asked me. This, I'm asking you, what do you think is the main message of Jesus coming on earth? The main objective of Jesus okay, was what? you need to ask different questions because I thought you were asking... No, no, he, why no, no, no. he asked you that come, question and you did, answered... Why did Jesus come to this earth? That no, 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 not why. Okay. What yeah, okay. was his objective? Because this is, this is kind of what you were saying. You were saying, I don't believe Jesus did not come to establish Christianity. This is what you said, right? Yeah. So what I was saying, what did he come to do? What did he come to do? Yeah, What's his main goal? He, he answered that question. Okay. And that, yeah. that's what then is the central is, thing that he came so to. So you're saying the crucifixion is a central thing. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> when, this when is what you're saying, saying, at least. Crucifixion, you know, dying on the cross. Being crucified. That's not. That's. He didn't come to tell us everybody should be crucified. No, 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 no. no, 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 no not saying that. Jesus. Yeah. No, no. Let, let crucifixion me. applies yes. to Jesus, not to everybody. This came. Yeah, he, so your, your in my mind, he knew that he was being crucified when he came. To okay, the let service. me let me rephrase that. Yeah. If Jesus' main purpose to come as a human, he was God according to you, right? So he became a man, was to die for everybody's sin. Am I right? That's what you're saying is the main message of Jesus. Yeah, well. Or did we get yeah, it wrong? But you can point out just that's one true. thing that's. No, no, main. No, no, we're asking, asking the, the main. Thing. We're asking we're the main. We're saying the main this. means the objective. Yeah. Without this, you cannot be a Christian. So without believing in the crucifixion and resurrection, can you be a Christian? No, for sure not. So. Yeah, you can. Well, it's a whole you, message of Christianity. Then that can't be the main message. If you still have, if you're not sure, it cannot be the main message. I'm a, the reason we're asking you this question is, I want to filter out only the thing that will take you away from Christianity and no more a Christian. So if, for example, if a, someone claims to be a Christian, and he says, I don't believe in the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. Yes. Then that will take them outside the fold of Christianity and he'll be a loser in the hellfire, wherever you want to put him. Yeah, that's that's the objective of me asking. So, for example, in Islam, the, the biggest sin 
or the only sin that God will not forgive, provided you do not, rep uh, unless you repent for it while you're alive, is shirk. Shirk is associating partners with the one true God. For example, saying that he has a son, or he has a wife, or he has partners is kind of yeah. worshiping other. Yes, means associating in worship with the one true God. That is the biggest sin in Islam. So if anyone does that deliberately, knowing that this is shirk, then they are outside the fold of Islam. So for us, for us, this is the main thing that you cannot do, which is shirk. And the one thing that you have to do is submit to the one true God and his message uh, and believe in his messenger and his books and so on so that is what i'm asking you as a christian do you know what will take you outside the fold of christianity and that you will be ending up in hellfire if you don't repent for it so, yeah i think we're just we've had a few long days yes that, yes yeah, so it's, it's fine it's, it's fine kind of, <laughs> we just got here trying to it's fine no, it's we're fine. not really prepared for it's fine you know, it's fine <laughs> I think it was hard for us, in English especially, to yes. just follow every, you have done quite well, trust every point you said. <laughs> you have done quite well, <laughs> as far as English is concerned. Yes. We understood everything you said. And I hope you understood what we said. Yeah, we did, but it's, uh, it's kind of double as hard to... You know, fair, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, but yes. you know, two to things come to my mind from, from me speaking to other Christians. So they bring up the two things. One is the Trinity. And the other is the sonship of uh, Jesus and his crucifixion. Three things actually. So these three are quite important for them. And I think even those people who consider themselves to be Jehovah's Witnesses, they believe that Jesus is the son of God and he died for, his, for our sins and so on. So if, if we are misrepresenting your faith, please let us know. But I think these things are quite important for Christians to believe in. But you know when Jesus was asked a question, by, uh, I think there was a rich tax collector or something, a rich man. And he says, how can I be saved? Jesus did not mention the original sin, did not mention the Trinity, did not mention his crucifixion or his sonship even. He gave a response to him. He says, go and keep the commandments. And you know what Jesus said? Uh, that man told him, he said that I've already kept the commandments since I was very young or something like that. And then Jesus, because he knew he was rich, so he basically wanted to test him whether he will do this. He says, go and sell everything that you have. That means all the richness that you have, get rid of it. All the money, all the belongings, all the whatever you have, you know, the valuables. And he says, that I cannot do. So that was his weakness. He wanted to test him. This shows us that these things which Christians consider important, especially the Trinity, which I personally, when I looked into it, I see that this was formed by the church in the fourth century. It was, it was when it was established in the council of Ni uh, Nicaea and then later on in Constantinople in the year 380. I mean, why would somebody wait nearly 350 years after Jesus to show that this is a very important doctrine and without that you cannot understand Christianity or be a Christian? To me, God's message has to be complete from the one who is a true representative of God. That is his prophet and his messenger. Yes? Yeah. And he will tell us what to do and what not to do. What is forbidden and what is uh, allowed or permitted. And that is the, the, uh, the prerogative of only that person and not someone who came 300, 400 years. Not the church, definitely. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. So the four, it's, it's four doctrines. It's interesting to hear those points and yeah. it's, it's definitely <laughs> interesting to do some research about yeah, all absolutely. of that. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I would advise you to also look into Islam yes. because, you know, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, there's a lot of commonality. We, 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 we almost literally worship, sorry, not worship, we, we believe in the same prophets, the same messengers, almost same, maybe different pronunciations, that's all. But you see, the Christians, they do not accept uh, Prophet Muhammad as a messenger of God and the Jews do not accept Jesus and Prophet Muhammad but you know as Muslims we are very generous we believe in all of them <laughs> Alhamdulillah so as a gift I would like to give you a copy of the Quran I know it's in English is that okay yeah, yeah, it's, okay. Okay. it's a free gift one for you yeah, and one for you I think one is enough that's fine you can give maybe to your friend or something 
Yeah, okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks for your time. I know you guys were just passing by. <laughs> I hope I didn't come offensively in any way. No, no, no. Didn't say anything offensively. No, no, no. I seriously it's, bored it's, you it's by. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's interesting. So the, our mango. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, it's okay. Sorry. Yeah. So we were saying our mango. Is as I told you in the beginning. I had to clarify it in the beginning. Yeah. That we just want people to think, ponder our purpose in life. Are yeah. we? This is the only thing I, I was gonna say. And as you told me, you didn't look into Islam. This is a chance to look into Islam. Perhaps, maybe you will find that Islam is suitable to you. You know? Maybe you'll find maybe the truth is in Islam. Perhaps. Tomorrow I might become a Christian. You never know. <laughs> no. But well, the only thing we're saying is we look into different yeah. things. Have an open, open mind. mind. Look yes. into it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's important to be open-minded. and just Because, you know, like he said, it, was, it is a quite an important decision as to as that you, you worship the true God and you follow the true religion. Yeah. Because you know, this life of ours, we don't know when it is going to end. So whether you're an atheist or a believer in God, everybody knows death is imminent. It's not something if or but, we all will experience that. And because our life is short, compared to what is in the hereafter, yes, which is eternal, it's very important that this test, which God has put us in, you know, the whole life is a test. We make sure that we worship the true God, follow the true religion, and with that, we won't have to worry too much once we are in the year after. And we want this for everyone, ourselves and yourselves as well. Yeah? Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Sorry, sorry, I know you're Thanks tired. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes. Thank you. Sorry. No, you we don't, don't give, yeah, we don't use it. Yeah, we, okay, sorry, I don't nothing know that. To, I don't want to. Nothing to do against you all. No, sorry, usually, I did not know that. I just don't want we to. Believe, we believe as Muslims, if I shake a hand of a woman, yeah. I have to take care of her for the rest of her life. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. I'm going to do that for you. Yeah, you have to. We'll pass that to him. Thank you for your time. All right. Thanks a lot.